Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. I am doing kind of a fandom soap today. More importantly, I am using another fragrance from the Celestial Fragrance Collection with Brambleberry that they so graciously sent me. And this one is my favorite. This is the Dark Crystal Fragrance. It has notes of pepper, jasmine, cinnamon, cedarwood, tonka bean, coconut milk, and musk. And it is the favorite fragrance of mine in this whole entire collection. So finally getting around to using that. I was getting Stevie Nick vibes out of it, like crystal. But then I was also getting the like Jim Henson Dark Crystal movie. And since it, you know, it was in the 80s, and I'm from the 80s, and my birthday is this month, I thought I would just do it around the Dark Crystal movie. So I have poured up a little bit of soap, and I'll put that video in there as well, to create what's going to look like a Dark Crystal embed inside of the soap. I didn't do the greatest job. <laughs> this side looks exactly like I wanted it to. This side I think I took a little too much off, but it'll you'll still get the point, the idea behind it. Um, so yeah, that's going to go into the middle of this soap. I'm going to start by whipping up my base oils here. And this fragrance has Vaseline in it, so I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this design to combat that. i got to work with it because it's a lot of Vaseline in it. Let me see if it says it on here. It doesn't, but it does say it discolors to brown, so we got to avoid that. So I'm going to pour in my lye solution into my oils. I'm just making a small, very limited edition loaf of this. I've got my Tessa Silk in here, coconut milk, kaolin clay. Um, what else is in here? Sodium lactate. All really good stuff. So let's give that a whirl. I'm going to start with a base layer and just do a little bit of a swirl in these two colors, I've got some Maya Gold Mica and some Fandango Pink Mica from Nurtures. And then in the main batter, I'm going to do, this is Marcasite by Soapbox Micas mixed with a little bit of Black Oxide. And so I'm only going to put that dark crystal fragrance into the black color so that if it discolors, it's not going to be noticeable. I'm going to start by pouring off just a little bit of these colors very very little bit of these colors just a little bit of accent going on in here and then I'm also going to pour off some into this container actually I'm going to <laughs> color this bit first pour off some of that black do it in the pot swirl that is the plan let's mix these guys in I'm going to start by just pouring a little bit of this fragrance into that black color. Mixing that in, and then I'm going to do an in the pot swirl. See how this behaves in here anyway. So I'll know for the rest of the batter. See, it says mild acceleration on there, so hopefully I can work with that as well. Alright, so that looks mixed in. I'm going to take my colors here and plop them into this container with the black. Give it a little swirl. The gold too. And just keep it a, bite, a base layer for going underneath of the dark crystal, kind of like the glow coming from under it. I'll have to put a picture of kind of where the idea came from, it's roughly. It's rough inspiration. All right, let's mix this all in and pour it bottom. I'll let this set up a little bit before I pour in the black. Insert my embed in there and then get the top on. So the rest of this is going to be fairly, 
fairly simple. This is the only sort of design or swirl that's going on in here. So let's get that black mixed up. So just mixing in that fragrance into this part. Smells so good, you guys. I am saving some of this fragrance for myself. I want to make something like a perfume out of it to where it is something I would wear every single day. I will definitely be buying some from Brambleberry. It is probably one of the best things I've ever smelt. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever said that before, but I definitely mean it <laughs> towards this fragrance. All right, let's pour some of this in here. Just like that. I'm going to stick my embed in here. Or maybe, I think I'm going to pour a little bit more in there because it is a very tall embed. It might have a little trouble supporting itself. So now let's try getting this in here. I really want it to float. I'm afraid to let go. <laughs> Alright. There. Okay, that looks good. So I'll pour some more of this on top of here and cover it up. The remainder of this embed, when I was making it, I was like shaving off lots of it. And I didn't want any of that to go to waste. So I've chopped up all of those pieces. I think that looks good. I'll have to play with that. Make sure it's covered. I've chopped up the rest of the pieces of that crystal in here. And then I have this moon embed that I've made out of coal or mountain pour soap. So I'm going to do a little design with that by dumping all of these into this black batter. I'm going to stick it into this round column mold and create like a second soap. So there's going to be two versions of this soap. But this is going to be a very, very small loaf. Like, this is a small loaf. This is going to be even smaller. You know, I just want to double check myself and make sure this is sealed because I've had it to where I thought I sealed it and I've poured soap in there and it's all, it's all come out the sides of it and made a huge giant mess. So I'm hoping I did that right. It's always one of those things where you're like, you think about, like there's something you tell yourself, oh, you should, should or should not do so or whatever it is. And the next thing you know, it's like, ah, it's fine. And you do it and you're like, ah, oh, I should listen to myself. I've done that so many times with this kind of column mold and it's made a huge mess and dirty so many dishes unnecessarily. All right, scrape this out. This mountain pour mold that I made is a lot taller than the soap is going to be, but in order for me to get it into this mold, I had to make it that way so I had something to grip on. That in there. Kind of just squeeze it in there because those um, cold process chunks will definitely get in the way. So I think it's all the way in there, and so I'm just going to let it sit like that. And we'll come back tomorrow and unmold this one. So back to the main soap. I'm going to go ahead and get my icing together. I'm going to mix two different colors together. I have this marcasite and royal purple mica to get that dark crystal look. I'm going to mix them together and color my icing with that. Right, let's get this icing on here. I actually forgot about it. You know, once you get started on making or watching soap making videos, you kind of lose track of time and I went crap, but we're still good. It's ready to be wiped. I have embeds here that I made. Um, these are some gemstones that I've put, you know, different shades of purple in. And I've got some glow-in-the-dark stars. 
that are going to go on top of the soap. I'm going to put in a 1A tip, hoping to get like little purple clouds on top of here. Very purple and black soap, but it's going to be really cool. Again, I love this smell, you guys. I just can't tell you enough. It is one of the nicest fragrances I have ever smelled by Rimmelberry. And they're really, really good fragrances. All of them are. They're all hits with me, but this one is my favorite. So, newest adventure that Bradley and I have gone on. I am going to leave at the end of this video. I'm always like doing something and so I just feel the need to like share them with you guys and inspire you not only in soap but in life you know just to go out and have fun I like to keep busy and try new things and I keep a list in my phone of different activities that if you know there's a day where we're like oh what can we do I'll just look at my phone and be like hey we haven't done this yet why don't we just go have an adventure and kayaking has been on my list of things that I've wanted to do. So, my friend, Sarah, who had no idea that that is an activity that I've been meaning to try, messaged me one day and she was just like, hey, do you want to go kayaking? And I was like, sure, she's never been, I've never been, let's give it a try. And I was a little hesitant because I'm like, neither of us know what we're doing. You know, just to give us a boat and the paddle and go say, have fun. Bradley's like, please don't die. Are we going to tip over? You know, are we going to get anywhere? How much is it going to be? There's just all these questions, but you just don't know until you do it. So, we, for the first time ever, went kayaking, and we went and got one of those two-person kayaks. We thought that would be, you know, if we're going down, we're going down together. <laughs> and we actually enjoyed ourselves. It is a lot of work. It, it's leg work for sure, and teamwork if you're doing it together. And it takes forever to get somewhere, that's for sure. But it is very relaxing in a way. Even though you're doing a lot of arm work, it is very relaxing to be out on the water and just taking that all in. And just, it's very cool, you know, it's a very beautiful day. It was the perfect day for it. I'm gonna go ahead and put my stars on the top and my little gems on the side. But we had so much fun that we thought we had to take back, go back and take our husbands. And so we made, we made sure to let them do all the work, right? <laughs> I was like, no, we did this last time, it's your guy's turn. And we just did a little exploring, but it really does take forever to get anywhere. And the people were like, oh yeah, if you go down here, there's a little cove and there's like otters and turtles in there. And we saw none of these things, just lots of water and, um, reeds I guess is what they're called but it was still it was fun it was so pretty and we have a um, big river called the gunpowder river that flows all over the place and so that's where this kayaking took place and I will leave some footage of that afterwards if you guys have never tried to go kayaking I highly recommend it and we have a um, our well, our parents, Brad's parents, have a place in Deep Creek that we go and visit quite often. And we've always seen people paddle boarding and kayaking, and we've never done it. And now that I know, I am just, I think I'm hooked. It's like a new hobby that if I see somewhere that offers kayaking, I'm all about it. So, I'm obsessed now. <laughs> Turn this around and put the other ones on this side. I'm going to top this with a little bit of glitter. Spray it with the rubbing alcohol and then let it sit for 24 hours. The first day, first day uh, Sarah and I went kayaking, it was very smooth sailing. I just put that one in backwards. Um, very calm waters. The second time we went and took the boys, it was so choppy. I really thought someone was going over. It was so weird. It's a totally different experience when you go with calm waters and then you go when there's like lots of waves going on so it's a little scarier but no one fell in okay no one fell in <laughs> all right let's see glitter what do I want to put on here I like this rainbow eco glitter I think it's from Brambleberry 
and we'll just sprinkle some of that on here and I will bring you guys back tomorrow when I'm cutting it. All right, let's cut into this guy. I am going to be honest, I don't know which end is which, so this is going to be the full-sized <laughs> crystal, or if it's going to be the end that was shorter, and it is the full-sized. So, that is what I was going for. Look at that. So you got your dark crystal in the middle, and then like the little glowing bits from underneath as if it were floating. Very rough inspiration, but that is what I was going for. I like it smells delectable so the show on Netflix the newer um, dark crystal show is coming out well by the time you guys see this video it would already have come out <laughs> and you've probably watched it if that's something you're interested in I know I am really excited to watch it so by the time this video comes out I know I would have finished it already because I'll binge it like I do every Netflix show if you have seen it, leave me a comment down below what you thought your thoughts were on it. I'm actually going to flip this around and see what the other end looks like. Let's see. I am so excited about this soap. I love it. And look, it doesn't even look that horrible. You still get the same idea. I like it. I like it. So happy with how this soap came out. Ooh. Cut a couple more of them, and then I'll cut the other little cylinder mold that I filled up as well. I tried to do some glow powder inside the crystal to make it glow, of course, because, like I said, it's the <laughs> the concept I was going for is the glowing floating crystal that is in the picture that I will leave as well. But I've not had a lot of luck with that glow powder. It might work better in melt and pour soap. So I'll have to try some other glow powders. I know Nurture Soap had a really good one, and I'll just use the Soapbox Mica one. Or I'll experiment it with one. I mean, I'm not giving up on it. Maybe I'm just not doing something right. But it's definitely going to be used in Mountain and Pour, like the embeds and stuff, maybe for Halloween soaps. I will use it there. Cut one more, and then I'll start cutting that little cylinder guy. And the, and the um, stars should glow as well, but again, I've not had much luck on it. I will test it out. All right, let's try this guy. Cut a little end piece off. I just got a, oop, it's melting pour. I gotta be careful, forget. I just got an email from Brambleberry about the dark crystal candle kit and they asked me if I'd be interested in testing it out so that video will probably have already come out by now but I just have to say I absolutely love this fragrance and I will put it in anything and everything I possibly can because it's it really is just so awesome look at that I love it I love it it's got a little bit of um like blow holes or air pockets in there but I'll fill them in with like this stuff here I'll just pinch off a piece of this and just fill it in Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, I'd love for you to join my little soapy channel and just follow along with me and all my adventures in soap making. Any questions or comments, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. You know, you know how it goes. Same old, same old spiel. <laughs> and until next time, I hope you all have a very magical day. I like that one. Let's try a close up look for you. Hope you all have a very magical day and I will smell you later.